I'm at Interpac on the Corbion stand with Francois Deby. Francois, you have an exciting new development in PLA, a high heat PLA. Can you explain the development of this new product? Uh, yes, that's a very recent uh, innovation that we are launching and promoting here at Interpac. Uh, previously, uh, PLA material used to be heat resistant up to around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. But with our high heat PLA technology, we can now reach temperatures of over 100 degrees Celsius, which makes all of a sudden PLA suitable for use in, for example, uh, single-use coffee cups or, very interestingly, for the single-use disposable coffee capsules for, for example, the Nespresso machines. Okay, so um, it can accept the higher heat without changing its characteristics. What happens to it in terms of the end of life? What, what's the journey once the, the product has been disposed of? Well, as you know, PLA, first of all, has already a very exciting beginning of the life because it's made from annually renewable resources. Uh, then we know that when it's converted into articles, because of our PLA technology, we get the same processing speeds and cycle times as conventional plastics. And then finally, at the end of life, uh, the product can be disposed in the organic waste collection bin, thereby going into composting, thereby completely falling apart into harmless substances, biomass, carbon dioxide and water. So you've got some examples on the stand. What's the reaction been at the show? Well, we've had an enormous amount of interest in the higher heat coffee capsules uh, for the Nespresso type of machines. We know that more and more consumers are interested to buy the single-use uh, coffee capsules, but always when they finish drinking their cup of coffee, they have a little bit of a bad feeling when they throw the capsule <laughs> in the waste bin. And now that can go away because now they can throw it in the organic waste collection bin and the uh, capsules will completely dissolve to harmless substances, going back to nature, being building blocks for the next PLA materials.